Folks, thanks for tuning in. This is Kevin Jabal, Jabal and Cars. Chris, Mental Ward, Everyone Racers. And today we're talking to you about Formula One. In fact, we're gonna give you an unbiased tour of the actual Las Vegas race course right now. How are you gonna say unbiased? I see you're familiar with the only eight time consecutive God. Formula One champion. Come on, let's go, I'm driving. You're driving, it's my car. It's what I do. So we are here talking about 2023 Las Vegas Formula One course. The Form Las Vegas Formula One track, it is 14 point, or 14 turns, 3.8 miles. The area to your left, which we can't even get to right now, this is actually turn 14, the last turn, as well as turn one, two, three, and four. Liberty Media just bought this entire chunk of land to build paddocks and uh, pit spaces for the upcoming Formula One race. So they're committed to this. As we mentioned at the start of this video, they got 18 months to get this all done. All right, Mental, so tell me, when is Formula One happening here in Vegas? It's gonna be happening Thanksgiving weekend, 2023. So Thursday will be Thanksgiving, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, Friday and Saturday, that's gonna be racing. Uh, this is going to be the only Saturday race on the Formula One circuit. Most of their races are on Sundays. But I think they need a chance to tear everything down so everybody can get out of here on Monday and make it to the airport. We're coming up on Koval Lane. As you can see, it runs behind Planet Hollywood, uh, Bali's, Paris. We're gonna go to the right, and that's gonna be the direction of travel. And this is where turn four is actually gonna dump everyone on the Cobalt Lane, on the race course. Among the myriad of places that are gonna be good to watch this race, I suspect Alice Island is going to be very popular. Not Cars will be driving right here. Right past two here, absolutely. They're gonna to have to tear this median up because they're mandated 15 feet. By the time they get the safer barriers and the restriction in there, there's no way they're gonna be able to have that center median. You know what I'm excited about is that the roads are going to be nice and smooth, <laughs> even after the F1 race. Even after, yes. Las Vegas did start on a paving project in 2020. Right about January, they said they were going to completely repave Las Vegas Boulevard, and then this minor problem came up all around the world, and they didn't quite get it done. They will actually be blazing right through this intersection. I don't know if Port of Subs is going to be open or not, so perhaps uh, Sebastian Vettel will stop by and grab himself something to eat. Now, by the time they're coming through here, this is really going to be the first of the straightaways, the three straightaways that they're going to have. You can absolutely expect these cars to hit 200 miles an hour as they're coming down this, which is even more fascinating because these are condos right here. People live here, and they're going to be blazing down through this. To our left over here is the high roller, the Ferris wheel. I bet that all gets bought out by some rich people that get up there with their own private bartender and spend the entire race watching it. So what the viewers want to know is which hotel should they be in if oh, they want to see the race? And absolutely. We're going to talk about that in just a few seconds when we get up here. So I'm also interested to know what some of these hotels are going to be doing with their parking decks. For example, you've got the wind. Now the wind is across the street on Sands here. But they've got this entire parking structure right here that's gonna be looking out as the car is coming through. Now, they won't be driving through here. They're actually going to be taking a right and going around the MSG Sphere, Madison Square Garden Sphere, which is a amphitheater. So they are having to build it, uh, a special turn all the way around through the parking lot. And a lot of uh, Formula One track analysts are saying that it's going to resemble turn three at Sochi. They're going to come around the sphere on the other side of this parking garage to our right, and they're going to be right here on Sands Avenue. So clearly, one of your better hotels to watch the race is going to be from is going to be the Encore, but really, the one to catch is up here to your left, and that's going to be the Palazzo. Because if you look, they've got two wings that are facing traffic as it's coming out here. 
and we're going to be going completely around that hotel and then turning onto Las Vegas Boulevard. So we got Wynn, Encore, and Palazzo that are all going to have a good view of which turns? This is going to be turn six, uh, coming out of turn five, six, and seven, and eight as we go into the curves here. And this is going to be, I think, where you're going to see some overtaking. If they get a good launch out of six as they're coming around the MSG sphere, this is a nice wide area even after they put everything in there. We've got the Venetian Expo Center right here that they'll be doing. So even the top floors of the Venetian are going to have a good view of this on the back side. So you're coming around the sands, and this is going to be some of our only real elevation changes that you're going to see on this Las Vegas circuit. Las Vegas literally means the valley, so it's going to be very flat. So here, the wind, another good viewpoint. Should you not want to do one of those resorts, I'm sure everybody in the uh, truck tower there is going to be here being being over a certain height. So we're coming down, this is turn eight to the left. I think both of these are going to be flat out, especially with the arrow you're seeing on the modern cars. Turn left here, yeah. Yes. And this is turn nine, which is the most important turn because this is where the cars are going to be entering Las Vegas Boulevard. So they're going to be entering onto the 1.2 mile straight away down Las Vegas Boulevard. Another great place to see this, Treasure Island. But really, the spot to be, Gilly's Bar. Right here on the right, you're gonna be almost eye level with those cars and you'll be able to drink beer. We're coming now past the Mirage. And the uh, by the time the race gets here in November, this is actually going to be the Hard Rock. Coming down, now you see the Mirage, and off in the distance, you can see Caesar's Palace. But this actual space was the, where the forum shops are, the Mirage and Treasure Island, was the location of what is unanimously considered to be the worst Formula One track in the history of Formula One. And that was the original Las Vegas circuit that was done in partially a parking lot, partially a dirt unimproved lot. Essentially just this big lazy E the Caesars the, Palace Grand Prix. The Caesars, yeah, the Las Vegas Grand Prix in 81 and 82. And it was uh, 90 degrees. The cars couldn't take the temperatures. It was not doing well. Mercifully, they only ran it two years. Then IndyCar came out here, ran it two years, and they tore the whole thing down. They built the forums and the Mirage and Treasure Island. So here's, of course, Caesar Palace. And then to your left is going to be the Link, which is really going to be a uh, a great hotel to be at, a terrible hotel to see because the rooms are actually in the back. A good hotel to watch, however, is the world famous Flamingo here on the left. You're coming through and any of the rooms starting on, I'd say, the 10th floor are gonna have a great view of everything blazing down there. Now. Caesars Entertainment has already anticipated some of this, and if you look to your left, you can see some of the scaffolding that they have set up over there by their ESPN zone. So this is probably all going to be very exclusive seating. Now, what's actually great about this, because they're running it in November, we don't have to worry about the same heat problems that they had in Miami. Typically, the temperatures here in November are from 50 to 70, although it has gotten to 80 and gotten as cold as 40, but I don't think that's gonna happen that late at night. Now, another great place that we're going to go by, and these are going to be some of the most epic photos, is of course the world famous Bellagio fountains here on the right, the Bellagio Hotel. So the entire Bellagio front facing rooms are going to have a great place. The Paris is going to be a great place to watch, especially if you're in the Eiffel Tower restaurant. My personal favorite is to get up here and watch the race from Beer Park. Another great bar is going to be the Cosmo right here. And we're coming up, now they're going to be downshifting, and we're coming up on Harmon. So we're going to be taking a left here. And what's interesting is they actually are having to work in a chicane. So this is going to be turns 11 and 12 and 13 as they come around the corner. So these are condos. 
they'll probably all be Airbnb. But if you're staying Veer at the, Towers. Yeah, you're staying at one of the, the uh, oh yeah. The governor, when they announced that they were doing this, actually said that they are going to have to close the crosswalks because they don't want people crowding there and they don't trust people not to throw things. Because, welcome to Las Vegas. So now we're entering onto Harmon, which is going to be the third effective straightaway for this Formula One circuit. We're going to be continuing down straight this way. The Marriott Grand Resort is going to be a great place to watch and the Hilton Grand Vacations, they're gonna have a full view of not just the racetrack as it's coming down Harmon, but also the pits as they look over here as well, because we're circling back up on this. So as we cross over Coval, you can expect the road to veer into those lots that we were just looking at, and that's where they're gonna be building the pits and the paddocks. My money says they keep that medical center open because Formula One tracks, you are required to have an emergency medical center that specializes in uh, spinal and brain injuries in case there's an accident. So as we come down here to the left, we're gonna keep going, but that's Coval and that's where this road is gonna cut into the pit paddock area. I don't think they're gonna let people be hitting uh, balls out of Top Golf over here on the right either. So they have to close the, the pedestrian bridges? Yes. Because I they're mean, concerned about people throwing trash. Yeah. Or beer Stay bottle. classy, <laughs> Las Vegas. Stay classy. I don't know. I don't know if that's Why a am I Las not surprised? Vegas. I don't know if that's a Las Vegas thing or so much as it is a, uh, uh, a Verstappen fans thing. They're, they're launching <laughs> stuff at Hamilton. <laughs> And your totally unbiased opinion. <laughs> when we came here, we actually looked at a condo in that building, and now I'm kicking myself for not having a condo over here. Oh, that would be a perfect view. Yeah, stand out, watch this. So this will be where you can expect Harmon to veer off down in here into this, and that'll be turn 14. Unfortunately, we can't go that way because it's still a dirt lot, but what we are going to do is take this left right here, That's going to complete our lap of the 2023 Las Vegas Formula One circuit. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you found that helpful. Again, you can find Chris Mental Ward, the one and only Formula One geek at Everyone Racers. Link in the channel description below. Much love, my friends, and I'll see you guys in that next one.